I've been here a few times. Oh, bridge is going up. Ship coming through. And I'm actually happy I'm here today because in front of me is one of those very rare now, very rare, classic uh, freighters on the water. See, uh, the one, uh, which is, wait a second, no, Manor stays in front of me, which is being scrapped, but another ship nearly just as old is actually still in service, engines are running, it's waiting to go up the lock, so it's just going to be interesting. While out on Lake Erie uh, on this particular day, uh, filming uh, another project that I was working on with a couple of other people, uh, we're making our way into Port Goulburn to grab a bite of lunch, and uh, I saw a ship in the distance, not this one, this is Manistee, which was built in 1943 and brought to Port Coburn last April for scrapping, and they've now started on that, but it's the ship in the far distance down there, and also the fact the bridge has gone up and one's coming up, so uh, I'll take you down here by alongside uh, Manistee, and then uh, I'm going to pull up very, very shortly, and uh, we're going to get the drone up in the air, and uh, I'll get you some nice shots of the uh, fantastic vessel which is still in service, which is the MV Saginaw. And also the ship that's coming into view coming uh, out of the Welland Canal is the Algoma Buffalo. <laughs> This is the Saginaw uh, taking on and off supplies whilst it's at Port Coburn. Look at the massive anchor at the rear. This is one of those uh, classic uh, lake liners. Uh, not many of them left. 
1953 this one was built, 1953. And the one, the one that just went past us was the Algoma Buffalo. In the same colour, the cheat line there, the livery, is uh, Ojibwe and also the one behind us a minute ago. The Dagas. What a neat ship. Sitting quite low, so I presume it's full. I'm going to presume it's full of coal, iron ore, and I think it's going to Hamilton uh, to deposit its uh, load right there. The classic liners have this front side where the uh, the bridge and all the quarters where everyone stays is at the front, whereas all the modern ships tend to be at the rear of uh, cargo ships. So another ship that's got quite a lot of history behind it. But, uh, it's, it's years are probably limited now. More, more supplies going on.